The stock market is rigged by Wall Street. Now you can copy their trades with rigged AI. And boy, did they have their way with the market today. April 23rd, 2024. Look at this. Right here, 945. PMI, some kind of whatever, whatever inflation, this, that. And look, you get three bull bombs and all these green little florbs. It's like, did they know? Did Wall Street know? Maybe. I mean, that's about as bullish of a setup as you can possibly see. And look, this is the best part. Four alerts today where the win rate was 50%. Those are the highest we had all day. Scroll down, find these things. Start at the bottom. 50%. MDA, max drawdown average, which means if you win this trade, how much do you lose before? 19.54%. And the drawdown on this alert is 19.58%. That's amazing. You're looking at the next one, even smaller drawdown, bigger return. 955, this is the only alert that does not go 100% with the 50% win rate. Bang, 50%, 118% four hours, and boom, 50%, 110%. All of these ended in the green, but the best part, if you traded them, you got 100% quick. Come join the Rigged AI Discord absolutely free. Check out the Fire Alerts channel. This is going to send a notification anytime one of our option alerts hits 100%. So 42 minutes, 38 minutes, 36 minutes, one hour, 40 minutes, 36 minutes. Beautiful. Now, the important thing here is that when we're trading zero day options, Win fast, lose fast. This is what it should be like. When you follow, copy trade Wall Street, and you get 111% in 36 minutes. That's what this is about. Winning fast and also losing fast, which means, hey, if we're in a trade and it's just, and nothing's happening, and these alerts aren't firing off, bang, 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 bang. You know, just get out of it. And if it does go, we can chase it because more likely than not, there will be a follow-up alert. Now, let's review the session. Wall Street scammed all of us again after a three-strike move. We start out super low volume, something like 60%. But what you have to pay attention to is when you see this massive spike in the white line. I mean, you're going from, you can see this over here, from 60% to over 100%. That is a massive increase. And when we see a spike like that, we need to pay attention. Typically, it means the move is going to continue whatever direction it's going in. And obviously, the direction was up. You're getting that 100% gain in 40 minutes or so because we're going from 502 to 505. And what is 505? That is three strikes. The three strike rule on normal mode, it's about all we're going to see. We do not expect to go beyond the barrier of three unless volume is like 120%. And you can see from the white line, right? It doesn't really go up. It just kind of slowly goes down. And what that tells us is Wall Street is not participating as active in the marketplace. They're not trading that much. We still see a good amount of alerts coming in, but we want volume Boom, to fly if we expect to go beyond three. So that's the first point. Three strikes, normal, basically all we're going to see. 
Second, we need to follow tradeability. Chase price action to two strikes, likely to go to three or beyond. We went to three and beyond. But here, price action is choppy, stay out of the market and wait until after 1300. Telling you this right here at 1217. Price action, unclear. When we're in normal mode, it's very strange. We never know what's going to happen. We can anticipate mean reversion because you know we're up so high in such a short period of time, but the market is gonna do whatever Wall Street wants to happen. And look at how they killed people today. 1217, right about here, and we are just ping-ponging, right? We're ping-ponging right at 505. We always expect ping pong to happen at some point in the session, unless we're on easy mode or full send. That typically brings more volatility and a lot more tradable price action. Here, because we're so high from the blue line, we love these bear alerts. They don't work. They don't work here, they don't work here. And what you notice is, as soon as we go back up to 506, it just comes right back down. Unless price is moving one, two strikes at a time, have to play defensive, have to think, hey, this was a three strike move, it might be done. Three strike move, volume's not going up, it might be finished. Nothing else is happening. Possible, of course, we, we want it to keep going or we want it to nuke, but think, how many other people are upset that they missed this or upset that the market's going up because, you know, inflation or something like that and we should go back down? And the way Wall Street wins is just like, hey, nobody. Nobody gets paid. And that's what they did today. And look, it's almost exactly the same as the 18th. So here we are looking at SPY, April 18th. And what you'll notice is, boom, three strikes down. Because we open at 502, and then we get here to 499. That's three down. And then what happens the rest of the session? They just ping pong it, right? Ping pong, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, nothing. And you'll notice the rest of the session, right? That's a big move, that's a big move, this is a move. There's not really any extended period where Wall Street just bleeds people out. We're all normal, volume's low. That's how they win. Simple as that. We're following tradeability at 1217. Price action's choppy. Stay out of the market and wait until after 1300. 1300 is right here. Problem we had today Komodo, a recommendation engine, broke. I think this is probably because when an alert fires off that we do not have results for something happens. This is using so many pieces of data, so many data feeds, a lot. It's firing live. I think the most important part, not necessarily win rate when it's high, because anything can happen, but showing you when something is low probability, when it loses frequently. And if you're a premium member, you need to pay attention to the Trade Lord channel. That's strictly people who know how to use the system talking about the rigged system. And this is what we shared today. Bears, medium volume, blue line, three and up. You know, you're 3.40 right now. The win rate is 0%. Only 11 results this entire year. So 11 times we've been at like 100% volume this high up and gotten a bear, and it's a 0% win rate. So automatically, 
need to be thinking, hey, I'm not really looking for this. Now, bulls this high up, we shared 60% win rate, low max gain. For us to enter something like that, we would want to see a pullback and then a pump to the end of the day. It didn't happen. And like, that's okay. We're sitting at three strikes higher. It's chopping, it's ping ponging, and that's it. That, that's what Wall Street loves to do. Because emotionally, oh my gosh, we're so high, we're gonna come down. Oh my gosh, we're gonna keep ripping up. We don't think it's gonna keep ripping up because volume is coming down. Wall Street is not actively trading it. But then historically, we know, if we followed the Trade Lord channel, that hey, the win rate is 0% on these. So if you're gonna take something, very small. Always lose small, sometimes win big. And you won big here, and then Wall Street just bled everyone out. It's like, incredibly, the most important thing is when we're trading three up, right? We know there's more risk for bulls that it keeps going. We love bears up here, but we can trade them and lose small. Do not get into this and hold it as it bounces back up here because all they're doing is killing people. They're killing people here, they're killing people here, and then no one wins. Except for Ken Griffin selling your options, he probably bought another mansion today. That's markets. When you're trading zero-day options, you're gonna rip like this, and they're gonna be profitable, or you're gonna be stuck in this hope phase. And if you can switch off hope and just say, oh my gosh, fear, I'm gonna get killed, you'll be able to do this much more successfully.